guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am gonna be testing and reviewing this uh, foundation from kiko milano if you want to see what is my opinion about this foundation then keep on watching okay so let's get started so i have in here the foundation from kiko and as i said it's called insta moisture and it has spf 25 uh, it has 30 mil and mine is in the shade 2J this is how it looks like guys it's glass bottle it comes with a pump and I cannot wait to test it hopefully it's not too dark for me but we will see I'm gonna add um, the description of this foundation and what it does in here in one of the corners so you can see yourself if I remember when I read it I think it said it can it lasts 24 hours up to 24 hours so I'm really curious first of all how this behaves and um, yeah how it looks on my skin but first things first I'm gonna prep my skin so I've done moisturizer already as you can see I've done my eyes this eye is a bit watery today I don't know what's wrong with it it just literally my eyeliner doesn't want to stay so I'm gonna prep my I'm going to use as a primer the Pore uh, Blurring um, Primer from ELF Because this is a hydrating foundation, I'm not using a hydrating primer Okay, so I did uh, apply the primer Now let's see okay so you have to twist it i don't see why because you have this cap so this is on also this is off and now this is on oh it's really liquidy guys it's supposed to be like that way too liquidy just let me shake this off i get it why you have to open and close because when i try to shake it it literally flew everywhere because it was open so yeah it's still really liquidy that was so weird guys literally i don't know why it's quite so liquidy because i managed to open it you can open it and it's really thick so literally i have to do this to mix all of the foundation which never happened to a foundation before so that's a weird start it's an old one, I don't know, it doesn't have a expiration date or anything. I think it just sat there for ages. It doesn't seem to smell funny, but now I'm afraid to put this on my face. I will try it anyway. Now it looks more like a foundation now. It still doesn't feel like it's completely um, mixed. Uh, let's see. So I'm using my sponge. This shade seems to be a bit too dark. Doesn't have any smell, which is alright. This is a sheer coverage. Let's see if I can build it up to medium. Yeah, it's a bit too dark for me. But the formula is alright, it, it seems like skin a bit more yellowish but I was afraid that if I'm gonna buy the neutral one it's actually too pink sometimes the neutral not always suits me to be honest it looks nice on the skin it doesn't look heavy or cakey this definitely has medium coverage and not more and feels extremely gooey I know it's a hydrating one, but it's a bit on the on the extreme dewy. So hopefully it's not really oily. I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face and I'll come back with the finished look and also my final thoughts about this foundation. Okay guys, I'm back. So I'm not sure about this foundation. I don't know if I like it or not, to be honest. <laughs> It was extremely dewy when I set up with powder, I had to apply a lot of powder and it feels in here around my nose is gonna crack really soon. Uh, under my eye, I did apply powder but I know it looks luminous right now but 
I don't know if in a few hours it's gonna cake or anything and it seems to transfer a bit even after I set it with powder so I think this is just best with people with really dry skin and not with people for um, oily skin like mine uh, I will definitely try it again to see if I'm gonna change my opinion or I don't know maybe applying a, a bit more a mattifying uh, type of primer and maybe this will work better I was a bit disappointed with the fact that when I first tried it, it literally came out a liquid and it, it felt that it's not mixed. So how long did actually this stayed on a shelf to separate it this way? I mean, really, it took me literally I had to open it up to mix it inside instead of doing this because it wouldn't mix. And even now it doesn't feel completely mixed up. So I don't know mixed thoughts about this i don't know feels a f it feels a bit heavy now on the face with all of the powder and everything it doesn't feel really comfortable i actually feel like i have something on my skin and feel like it's oily and because i did uh, apply a setting spray as well to melt everything in um i don't know i'm gonna try to wear this um, as I said, at the moment it looks nice on the skin, but I don't know later. And uh, as I said, I was disappointed with the fact that I don't know why it wasn't it. Probably I just got a bad one. I don't know if um, the other ones are a bit better. I'm gonna try to mix this better, you know, to literally take a, I don't know, one of this and mix it inside. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna wear this. Uh, as long as I can today and see how it's gonna behave at the moment it doesn't look bad it's just I don't know how long this is gonna last especially because when I apply it it didn't seem to set at all it just stayed on on my skin because at the foundation you can see they set and then you can apply your powder but this was just like really really dewy or oily this is how it felt anyway and then I have to apply like a lot of powder take it to this degree and the coverage is definitely not more than medium. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna give it another try uh, later on and see maybe with a different primer it will behave differently. But yeah, that's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this every week. I'll see you next time guys, till then take care, bye!